Hey everybody, Hammerhead doing another video. Please subscribe to my channel and please watch my videos. Come on, just please watch my videos. Just give me a flippin' chance. So, anyway, um, in recent days, the Washington Redskins, yeah, I said Redskins, um, released uh, Adrian Peterson. And I kind of, um, I don't really like the move. I mean, before you say, oh, wait. Hammerhead, he's one thing, he's injury prone. Two, he's old. He's one of the oldest running backs in the league. Three, they're trying to start up, they're basically rebuilding. Which, in all aspects, you are kind of right, but he's been the best running back they've had there in the past two years. He's led them in, in rushing yards and t rushing TDs the past two years. He's been the best running back they've had on the team the past two years. And, he's still, and I think he's still got a lot left in the tank, man. Uh, I really hope it doesn't end his career because he's got a lot left in the tank. And they weren't paying him that much. It was like, what, two points something? It's not as... I mean, yeah, you can go with the younger guys, but he can still be a mentor to those guys since they got rid of Darius Geist. He can now be a mentor to the newer, newer guys while he is gradually phased out in some manner unless he keeps proving that he... And he even said, I, he, he quote, Surpri he was surprisingly blindsided by, by the release, and I would be bl I'm blindsided too because it just doesn't it kind of just doesn't make any sense to me. He's one of the best. Uh, he's a good. I don't want to say one of the best because he is kind of declining, but he's not like like um um he's not like one of those guys who just can't stay healthy, can't get injured, or he's one of those guys who just can't do it anymore. I mean, he's proven that he's still Adrian Peterson, just a little lesser. I mean, you can still ground and pound about 120 yards a game if you give him the ball. So maybe it's more because of um, offense, because Ron Rivera has never really been a run-heavy guy. He's been more of a balanced, balanced. It, it kind of depends on whether uh, on the game whether he'll be run-heavy or pass-heavy. So it's probably more um, has to do with more scheme than uh, player in that in those regards, in my opinion. Um, so, and let, and, and maybe it wasn't because of that, and they just said, okay, he's getting too old, let's release him. Well, if they wanted to release him, then why, why didn't you do it when, with the, why didn't you just decide to decline his second, uh, year of his con uh, two-year contract extension and do it then? It wait till now, where it's like two or three, uh, two weeks before the season. So, Yeah. I, I, I love Adrian Peterson. I hope, as I said before, I hope this doesn't end his career. Um, I hope he signs with another team. Uh, New England probably won't sign it because we already have Michelle. We already have Lamar Miller. We still have White. And uh, we have da uh, Damian Harris. So we, we already have a big enough uh, running back room. Um, I could give you uh, top three teams that I can see signing him um, would be, let's see, um, Houston, um, maybe Dallas, I'm just throwing that out there, maybe Jerry, bring back the, bring back the Texas, uh, kid, or, as I, or, I forget whether, um, I forget which college he played for, I think it was actually Houston, but I can't remember, I can't remember off the top of my head, so he might, so any team in Texas, um, Maybe Green in now. Maybe Green Bay as like a fu to the Packers for releasing him, but you know, highly doubt that. Maybe my um, maybe Miami or the Jets, because all both those teams could really use a ground pounder, but probably the Miami over. Uh, New York, because I only just, because now it just dawned on me, oh, they already have Frank Gore, so actually more Miami. And then maybe Jacksonville, because since they just got rid of Fournette. So, yeah, so hope you enjoyed the video, and I really, as I said it before, hope this ain't the end of Adrian Peterson. See ya.